On this episode of Camp Outside, we're going to take a look at sites 223, 225, 226, 227, and 228 at Chain of Lake State Park in Albion, Indiana. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Camp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Welcome to my campsite review series for Chain of Lake State Park in Albion, Indiana. What a fantastic place to camp and explore. If you haven't seen our campground overview video, check that out. I'm going to put a link right up here and one down in the description below. Guys, this is an amazing place, so let's get right into the campsite review videos. Chain of Lake State Park is located just northwest of Fort Wayne in Albion, Indiana. It's easily accessed by Chicago and all its suburbs. Lafayette, Indianapolis, Dayton, Ohio, and Southern Michigan. Chain of Lake State Park is a paddler's dream with lots of lakes connected by canals. Great for boating and fishing and paddling. It also has a great system of hiking trails and the campground is absolutely enormous with lots of sites, a very large play field in the center for kids to play. Just a really nice campground. There are two full-service restroom facilities located near the sites we're going to take a look at today. The first one is restroom number four, indicated by the red arrow, and the second one is restroom number three. Both of these restrooms have running water, flush toilets, and hot showers. The first site we're going to take a look at today is site number 223. 223 is a back-end site indicated by the red arrow. So we're going to take a look at site 223 from the campground road. That's restroom 3 in the background there. And as you can see 223 is a pretty deep site so you should have no problem if you have a big travel trailer or a long RV. The site does sit pretty level. And there are some trees for shade. The site is equipped with electric hookup. There's no water or sewer hookup in this campground. There is a dump station though, and there are some water fill stations around the campsite. Site 223 is also equipped with a picnic table and a fire pit with grill grate. The next site we're going to take a look at is Site 225. 225 is a back-end site indicated by the red arrow. So as we take a look at Site 225 from the main campground road, we can see that this is also a pretty deep site. The site sits pretty level. There's the restroom in the distance. There's also a water spigot right across the street there that just barely came into frame. This large tree provides some nice shade. The site is equipped with electric hookup. There's a little bit of space between the back of this site and the site behind it, which is also nice. The site has a picnic table and a fire pit with grill grate. The next site we're going to take a look at is Site 226. 226 is a back-end site on the outer edge of the campground loop, indicated by the red arrow. So as we take a look at Site 226 from the campground road, I want to remind everybody that traffic travels in both directions on those roads, and the traffic can be very busy, especially on weekends. So if you have little kids, make sure they look both ways before crossing the street and keep an eye on them when they're playing and as you're driving around be mindful of kids on bikes there's a lot of kids and they don't often pay attention to traffic so as we make our way into 226 you can see that the woods behind the site provides some nice uh, privacy and some shade 
This site is equipped with electric hookup, offers a nice view of the woods out the back of the site, and this site is equipped with a picnic table and a fire pit with grill grate. Also those trees there might be good for hanging a hammock. This is a pretty nice site. The next site we're going to take a look at is site 227. 227 is a back end site indicated by the red arrow. So as you can see there, it's pretty close to the playground and play field. There's restroom three in the distance. So as we make our way into site 227, you'll see it's pretty level. It has electric hookup. A nice grassy field behind the site separates this site from the sites behind it. It's great for kids to play or to set up a cornhole tournament or throw the football around or frisbee. This site does have a fire pit with grow grate and a picnic table. It's a pretty nice deep site. It's a nice site if you need a site deep for a big rig. And the last site we're going to take a look at in this video is site number 228. 228 is a back end site on the outer edge of the loop indicated by the red arrow. So I think some of my favorite sites in this campground are the sites on the outer edge of the campground because they back up to a tree line and so that gives you some shade and some privacy. It also gives you more of a feel like you're camping in the woods. But these sites aren't terribly deep so if you have a big uh, rig or, or RV you may need a site that's a little bit longer. The site is equipped with electric hookup and this site does have a fire pit with grow grate and a picnic table. So that's a look at site 228 and the sites in this video. Well, I hope you found those campsite reviews useful. We do this everywhere we camp to make it easier for you to select the site when you're going camping, and we want you to have an amazing time at Channel Lake State Park. Guys, I want to thank my sponsors for this video, Mount Comfort RV. Mount Comfort RV is an RV dealer and service center just east of Indianapolis. Guys, if you need an RV, a travel trailer, a camper, a pop-up, a fifth wheel, whatever you need, guys, go see my friends at Mount Comfort RV. Tell them Camp Outside sent you. Guys, they also have a service department, a parts department, and a rental fleet. So if you are thinking about getting into RVing or getting a travel trailer and you're not totally sure, go see my friends at Mount Comfort. Rent one of their RVs and take a trip and see if RVing is right for you. Mount Comfort RV, thanks so much for being such amazing sponsors of Kemp Outside, and thanks for providing the RV for us to do our Indiana summer tour. So guys, Channel Lake State Park was stop two in our six state park Indiana summer tour. So if you want this kind of content for six different state parks in Indiana, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos, and hit that thumbs up button on this video. So Camp Outside exists to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. So we want to help you get you and your kids outside. If you have any questions about chain of lakes or camping in general or just getting outside, drop something in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Or you can connect with us on our other social media. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. Also check out our Let's Go Camping TV show produced by Mount Comfort RV. It's a fantastic 30-minute TV show focused on all kinds of camping in and around Indiana. We also do gear giveaways here on Kemp Outside, so make sure that you are following us on Facebook. And also watch this video right up here to learn how we do our gear giveaways. So guys, we normally produce videos every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time right here on YouTube. But guys, we have so many campsites from this Indiana summer trip as well as some of the other trips that we're taking that we are now bringing you the Chain of Lakes videos on Fridays. Guys, thanks for watching Kemp Outside. I hope you found it useful. We will see you at the campground, on the trail, or at the boat ramp. See you next time.